Welcome to today's video review. I'm going to be doing a review of the Nipa Resort here in Patong, Phuket, Thailand. Now, I'm going to create a system for all my future travel videos for every single resort, apartment, hotel, reservation that I'll stay in in the future. I'm going to give you a fair, fair review. So far, I've been here for two days, two full days and one half night. And yeah, this is going to be my complete review of this Nippa Resort here in Thailand. Now, I'm going to rate the system, my rating system rather, is going to be location, cleanliness, value for money, food, bathroom, transport, facilities, comfort, staff, and Wi-Fi slash internet. The maximum point each review can get or each sub review can get is 11 out of 10. Now 11 out of 10 means it, it has exceeded all expectations and it is the top, 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 top echelon of that specific section. For example, if I rated something 11 out of 10 for location, it means the location exceeded all expectations. It is the closest you can get to all the main hub of that specific city. It looks aesthetically pleasing and it's just a beautiful place to be in. Uh, that's the example. Now, moving on to the final review of the Nippa Resort Patong here in Thailand. Now, for location, I give it a 7 out of 10. If you come here and you mainly want to head to the Bangal Bangalore Street or whatever it's called, basically the main street here in Thailand where everything goes down, then this is like an 11 minute walk. Trust me, I've done it a few times already. It's an 11 minute walk, a five minute tuk tuk drive. It's very close to everything. It's right across the road from the hospital. So worst case scenario, anything happens, just drag yourself across the road. So seven out of 10 for location. Cleanliness. Now, by the way, all of these scores are specific to the resort, nothing outside of the resort, okay? So cleanliness is six out of five in my opinion. Now I'm gonna explain why. This main hub, so where I am now, what you see behind me, is nice and tidy, nice and clean. The beds are spotless. However, if you go to the bathroom, it's a bit moldy. The paint needs a bloody top up. The floors, you know, can do with a bit of cleaning here and there. Now, I understand that the staff come in and they clean it every day as room service, but it still can do with a bit more cleaning. Now, outside on the, on the balcony as well, a bit dirty, can do with a bit of cleaning. Cleanliness, 6.5 out of 10. Now, we're gonna talk about value for money. Now, value for money, I spent 600 and 650 Australian dollars uh, times two. So for whoever's staying with me, times that by two for seven nights. So seven nights of staying here, one week, we paid 650 each. For what, for what this place is, in my opinion, it's fair value. So it's definitely fair value. As a result, I give it seven out of 10. Fair value, value for money, seven out of 10. Now moving to the food. The food, you can either do two options. You can either pay with it, pay for it, as part of your room package, or you can just walk up to them, pay 400 baht, which is maybe 17, 18 Australian dollars, and you can eat whatever you want, or you can eat buffet. Now, in my opinion, for what you get, it's a six out of five out of 10. The food itself is tasty, you're gonna eat it, Whatever you put in a, your, your plate, you're gonna eat it, but it's not like restaurant buffet quality food. Just expect average food, you're gonna eat it no matter what. It's gonna make you full, six out of five out of 10. What I am gonna mention though, I have eaten at a few places here in Thailand already for all four of my meals per day. So, so far I've eaten about 10 meals. The standard of food here, I'm gonna be straight blunt. I've been to high-end restaurants already, and I've eaten just random stuff off the street. The average rating I give for the time, uh, look, it might increase, it might increase, 
We're going to be trying other, other places. But so far, the, the average quality of food is a 2 out of 10. You might get offended. Look, that's just my opinion, okay? Um, we've, we've tried the beach clubs. I've tried the Indian restaurants, the Lebanese restaurants, the kebabs, the street food, the burger places, the steak places. And yeah, so this food in here in the resort in comparison to those places would make this place an 8.5 out, 8 .5 out of 10. So the average rating of this food therefore is a 6.5 out of 10. Now moving on to the bathroom. Now the bathroom is an issue for me. It's a big issue for me. The shower doesn't get as hot or as cold. The shower pressure is absolutely horrendous. Expect to shower for 40 minutes just to get yourself clean every time. The shower curtain is moldy. The shower mat is moldy. The bathroom itself is just, you know, it's okay. It's just a bathroom, but I've, the vanity itself, you know, it, it's, it's seen better days. It's, I don't know, either it needs to get changed or something needs to happen to it. The, um, yeah, the toilet paper, bloody hell, the toilet paper is like one ply. You try to wipe, your finger goes through. So, in saying that, 4 out of 10 for bathroom. Moving on to transportation. Transportation is honestly as good as it gets. You have, you can literally walk to the front, you've got many options. One, you can hail any tuk-tuk, there's literally one every five meters. Hail a tuk-tuk, you got your own private van, you got your, you can get bikes and just park them up. You can hire literally any taxi. It's on the main strip, on the main road, sorry. It's like a highway, I guess. You got many options. You're gonna get transport in a heartbeat. So that's not an option. I am gonna rate it seven out of 10, only because nine out of 10 vehicles are not road legal where I come from. They're just demolished. They've seen better days. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that term a lot. They've seen better days, okay? Seven out of 10 for transportation. Facilities. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hit this one straight to the point. This would have been a zero out of 10. Let me explain. They sell you on the fact that there's a fitness center. I'm gonna show you on screen. That's what the fitness center looks like. Absolutely horrendous. That's a straight zero out of 10. It's like backyard, bloody built equipment, 10 kilos in place. Look at me, I'm, I'm a pretty big boy. You know, I've been training for nine and a half years. That's not gonna to cater towards me. It's not even gonna to cater towards your beginner trainer. Absolute zero out of 10 for that fitness facility. Then you have the boxing bag. I don't wanna know how many times that those gloves have been used. The, uh, look, for me, zero out of 10 for there as well. The spa, I'm gonna show it on screen now. Moldy, rotten, probably doesn't work, zero out of 10. The only reason I'm giving this facilities a three out of 10 is because of the pool. Without this pool, zero out of 10. So three out of 10 for facilities. Now, this is where we start going up a bit. My ratings start climbing. Comfort. These beds are immaculate. I will sleep on these beds every day of the week. The air conditioning, perfect. The only other things that have, would have made this more comfortable would have probably been more comfortable couches or perhaps, I don't know, just, I've been to higher end apartments and hotels before it just needs couches it needs something somewhere to relax other than your bed in saying that i give it an 8.5 out of 10 which is very high for comfort so if you just want a place to sleep you're not going to go wrong with this place believe me now this one's gonna surprise you staff i'm gonna give staff 11 out of 10 11 out of 10. this morning for example i was walking around with my gimbal, with my camera, just recording a couple B-roll shots. By the time I walked from here, from where I am here, to downstairs, I got five hello and good mornings. I had five different conversations within 15 minutes. I got taught a couple Thai, Thai words, and all in all, I've never met more friendlier people in my life. And they're just happy people. Happy people, nice culture, amazing people. You know, you, you're not gonna get a good morning where I come from. Good luck. Unless you work with a person or you know the person, you're not going to get a good morning. And, you know, they, they pay respects, they bow to you when they, when they, when you walk past them, when you, when you talk to them, when you finish a conversation. So, it's, it's, it's not like your typical five-star hotel, for example, where it's all an act. They put on an, an act because that's their job. In this place, they do it because they like it, you know? 
it, it's, it's not like a five-star restaurant, uh, restaurant, five-star hotel or apartment where it's, good morning, sir, how are you? Come in, come in, come in, come in. They lick you, you lick your sole of your shoe. No, 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 it's not like that. It's not an act. This is legit. This is how these people are. They're amazing people to the heart, to the soul. Good on them, 11 out of 10. Finally, Wi-Fi. Now, in this apartment, you're gonna get Wi-Fi. However, at times, it's not gonna be 100%. It's manageable. It's like my Wi-Fi at home without the cutouts. Now, you leave your apartment, don't expect your Wi-Fi to connect. It's not gonna connect. For example, I was eating down in the restaurant, which is less than 100 meters away, and my Wi-Fi was not working. My Wi-Fi wasn't even working in the lobby as well. So it only works for your specific room. I don't know what they did or how that's the case. Maybe there's like your specific router that you connect to in your room. But other than that, your, your Wi-Fi is not gonna work outside of your room. So as a result, five out of 10 for Wi-Fi. The total tally, including the bonus one point I gave for staff, totals 65.5 out of 100. So final review, final scorecard, 65.5 out of 100 for the Nippo Resort Patong Phuket here in Thailand. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next episode.